Hello, I just want to share this project of me uh, making the lightest mini tool for a bicycle. Uh, so everything started with this Crank Brothers. This is the M17. Uh, I recommend if you're gonna buy a new one and try to do this, don't do it please. I just did it because this was more than seven years old and one of the pieces over here broke. So I, uh, I decided I'm gonna do something with it. I don't wanna buy another one. So I came with this idea. So I first check uh, the bolt that I use the most on my bike. And I figured out that this, uh, how many I have here, the seven are the most that I use in my bike. And these ones are not uh, actually this one. Uh, in in these years, in 2017, no bike uses any more of this. So if you're gonna do a project like this, is you first you check uh, which which one you really use all of them, uh, and then yeah, figure out how to do it. I uh, have to cut little pieces. Uh, remember here at the end this goes the the loop like this one so i cut it and i just uh, put it over there before i cut it i uh, check the the distance for example this is the number five so i check every part every bolt of the bike to see uh, if the is long enough to reach all the places uh, why I'm gonna put these three together because these are the most uh, I needed the most torque. Uh, normally, uh, with this size, I can reach seven uh, newton meters. So, you have to make sure that you will be able to tight the bolt uh, to the according newton meters. So, handlebar stem, I believe, drive change i will be able to do it with this uh, size um what else okay so this one this one over here uh, i have the shimano system uh, this is a specific a specific for the uh rear derailleur shifter so it's a little bit longer because it's together with the brake lever so i need it to be a little bit longer so it can reach the bolt because it's a little bit hide it in the brake lever um yeah nothing else this is the brake change tool uh, this one because this is the the very small i don't need that much torque these bolts all of them they they don't reach four newton meters so i don't need it uh, to be that big so i just cut the cut them here in the in the loop and that's it so this was the part that was a little bit challenging to do uh, because i wanted to to be in here so to be able to, to put it in there so I just uh, put it inside and uh, like this actually it's like this yeah they go like that and stay there so it, it, it won't get loosed, lost and then I everything will be in my in my pocket this ones I just put it together because I don't know uh, just in case I use it, but I don't use this one in my bike. If I'm gonna use these big ones, probably I will choose to do it because that one requires a lot more torque and this is just for the frame, for the double suspension. So I wouldn't use this ones very much, but this is the normals I carry and this is just 60 grams. There are 60 grams, all of this. So I, I don't think there is a tool, a mini tool with this, we able to, to weight just 60 grams. So yes, this was the little project I want to share with you guys. 
Uh, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, okay, so I, I'm a welder, so you need a, 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 a thick welding machine, of course, to do this, or a friend, or somebody. Uh, it's not that difficult, just with the metal, with their own metal, you, you can just melt it. They just melt and they get together. So, yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.